Today we're here at uh, Palak Airport. Um, my name is Dan Waisman with Sport Performance Aviation. We have uh, behind us uh, Buddy Henson uh, built the uh, first Tri-Gear Panther customer built. It was built under um, agreement with uh, SPA uh, that we provide and test the tricycle gear components um, as a new addition to the well-proven uh, Panther airframe. So we're here today to uh, you know get some good video and uh, kind of explain the differences and kind of do the uh, public debut of the uh, Panther Tri Gear. Uh, this exact airframe is what we call the LS model. It has the longer wing, which could qualify for sport pilot uh, operation. It uh, does not have the elevator counterbalance in it, so um, that's why it's an LS airframe. It does have the tricycle gear, and it has a Lycoming 0320, 160 horsepower, with a Sensnik uh, ground adjustable composite prop. Um, the airplane, obviously, you can see it looks very nice, it's painted up well, and uh, we uh, think Buddy did a great job building it, and um, it's uh, the test phase is complete, and it's uh, worked out really, really well. For those of you who are new to the Panther, um, I figure we recap and uh, just touch highlight some of the features of uh, all Panthers that are common to both the Tail Dragger and the Tri Gear versions. Um, first off, it's all aluminum. It uh, is built mainly with blind rivets. It has uh, a wide variety of engine options, um, Lycomings, Jabiru's, Continentals, uh, Corvair conversion, uh, UL power. Um, and those are the ones that we've initially started offering engine mounts and cow wings for. Uh, we do have two different wing lengths, a short wing we call the uh, S version or the sport version. Um, it does not have the capability due to stall speed to make the LSA class um, and be operated with a driver's license. Then we have the long wing version you see here. Um, it is uh, capable with the right engine and um, you know allowances for the useful load and things of being operated in the uh, sport pilot category with just the driver's license medical. Um, the airframe from the seat back forward to the firewall is uh, 4130 uh, chromoly tubing welded in our factory in Green Cove Springs. Uh, the seat is fully adjustable. It has about uh, at least five inches of adjustment, and the rudder pedals also have five inches of adjustment. So just about anyone you know of any size can fly it. We've had people uh, all the way up to about 6'4 into the cockpit. Um, you could even be taller if you have long legs. Um, uh, it kind of depends on your body size, but um, it has a large roomy cockpit. Uh, designed to be simple uh, to build, be completed qu uh, quickly and relatively inexpensively. Um with a lot of options. It has uh, folding wings that you can, one person can fold in about uh, three to five minutes without uh, disconnecting or draining any fuel. Um, you do have to disconnect fuel, but you don't have to drain any fuel tanks or anything. So it does have a simple wing fold that some people find useful. Um, and the latest addition to this is the, the Tri-Gear. Uh, the, the tail dragger has been flying for about five years and um, has been well received. And there's a, about 20 flying to date. Um, now just to cover the uh, changes between the, or the differences between the Tail Dragger and the Tri-Gear uh, Panther. The main difference is the fuselage weldment has the main landing gear points relocated behind the spar box. Uh, the landing gear are very similar on both, the main gear on both the Tri-Gear and the Tail Dragger are machined 7075 T6 aluminum. They have a brake line groove routed in the back, so it's very clean. There's no fairings to shake around, vibrate, no fiberglass to mess with. Uh, you can make intersection fairings for you, you know, where it meets the fuselage and the wheel pants if you want, but just as it's built, it's a very elegant, simple solution without a lot of maintenance down the road. Um, and we make that in-house uh, as well as most of the components. So the main gear just bolts in with three bolts on each side. And um, we have a, on the main wheels and tires and brakes, we have a lot of options. We basically have three different options for uh, both size of wheel and brake capacity, things like that. Um, the nose gear on the Panther is a little different than some of the other uh, experimentals. It has a stiff or rigid streamlined tube uh, nose wheel strut that has a reinforcement forced all the way down it and welded in. And so it's a rigid strut. It's not really meant to be flexible. The absorption, energy absorption and shock absorption is taken by an absorber pack that's made with some, you know, polymaster uh, polymer bushings that go 
in a in a bushing pack in a strut. The engine mount is different, but nothing else on the airframe for the nose gear is. Uh, it is actually possible to simply have both gear mounts welded in the airframe as an option when you buy it, and the airframe would be truly convertible. Uh, you can simply unbolt the nose gear with three bolts off the engine mount, and uh, you know move the main gear back and uh, add your tail wheel. So it is technically could be converted if uh, you chose to set your airplane up that way. Another feature that uh, we've included in the airplane, we had the tail wheel socket, which is a structural member in the tail of the airplane already. We incorporated a small tail skid and tie down ring so that maneuvering in the hangar, if you have the engine off, um, due to the geometry of the rudder, it is possible to actually bang the rudder on the ground. Some aircraft have the rudder sheared on an angle where you can't do that. But to use the parts commonly, um, we decided to incorporate a 4130 chromoly tail skid uh, to prevent damage. And it's useful for you know, the other things moving around the hangar and stuff. The nose gear is a castring nose gear. We already talked about having a rigid strut, um, which is a little different. It is common uh, practice in the you know mo more modern aircraft to have a castring nose wheel. It makes things simple and light. Um, it, so at slow speeds, you will have to steer it with uh, differential braking. It works really nicely in the video we shoot later from the cockpit. You'll see that you can turn very easily. At speeds just off uh, idling taxi speeds, you can easily um, steer the aircraft with rudder and just use a little bit of brake. Um, it's, uh, I found it to be very easy to fly. It tracks very uh, tracks out straight on landings and um, is what you would expect from a tricycle gear airplane. Basically, touch down on the mains. Uh, you can hold the nose gear off and uh, set it down gently. and uh, it. Um, maneuvers very normally and you know we, we did it uh, because a lot of people just aren't comfortable um, flying tail dragger airplanes they weren't trained to um, and we did it and tried to make it attractive and sporty looking uh, while having an airplane that was easy to fly. Another point to make about the Panther Tri-Gear is that once the wheels leave the ground it's the same airplane as the tail dragger. It's still a sporty, fun to fly airplane that is uh, maybe a little bit easier to handle on the ground and uh, might open up the you know pilot fleet to more people. Um, one of the biggest things that we wanted to do with the Trigger airframe is keep in line with the versatility of the Panther line, uh, keep the cost down, and that means both in terms of money, but also in build time and now with the tri gear also in terms of transition training you can uh, most people that can maybe uh, say fly a, a Grumman uh, Tiger or a little Yankee or something could easily just transition right into this there's no no real transition training you need to do uh, it's a little easier in the pattern of those airplanes it has a good glide ratio so keeping in line with um, versatility and low cost uh, the Panther tri gear really extends that line all the way into transition training and being able to enjoy uh, the Panther airframe in the quickest amount of time. It also leaves the uh, option to convert it to a tail dragger later. Maybe you have the airplane flying for a couple years, you like it, you're having a blast with it, but want to go one step further. So you spend a you know a weekend convert it over, get a little tail dragger time, and uh, and uh, the adventure continues. So. We really think that this is a great addition to the already, you know, proven tail dragger line and um, are really excited to have this out and about and available for people.